Welcome to Lost Ember by Moon Eye Studios. This was gifted to me by a viewer, so thank you very much. Uh, as for what it's about, I think it's best if I read the description on the Steam store page, because it did a really good job selling it to me. Explore the remains of a fallen world from fascinating perspectives. Slip into the role of different animals to uncover the fate of an ancient world. Dive into deep waters, fly at lofty heights, dig underground as a mole, or even climb steep cliffs with a mountain goat. There are lots of ways of getting around. Playing as a bunch of cute animals and getting to use all sorts of different fun movement systems, like flying or being a wolf on the ground or even digging underground, that sounds amazing. So let's start a new game I've played for just a couple minutes just to check settings and things like that. So I'm just going to clear that slot. The water will lead us, the fire will free us, and the light will guide us home. That's your way into the City of Light. After you close your eyes for the very last time, you will rise into the light like a spark from a fire. All will be welcomed who follow the Yanren ways faithfully. The others, they are thrown back into this world as wild beasts. Lost embers. Hey, come back here. Kalani! Excuse me, would you maybe help me with... Oh, oh hey you. I, I, I just need someone to... <sighs> Is there no one here that understands me? Good morning. Uh, would, would you mind helping me with something? I promise it takes just a minute. Talk to Glowy thing? Oh, thank you. It's in a cave just a bit downhill from here. Go ahead, I'll follow you. I've been stuck here for ages. You're the first one that's willing to help. Would you believe that? I'm supposed to be in the City of Light. Have you heard of that? It's where all the true Yanrin spirits are supposed to go after... ...after their death. But I've been trapped here by this barrier for so long. I don't know why. I think there's something left for me to do here. And I'm pretty sure that Amulet has something to do with that. So I haven't even played this far. I just stayed in the starting area, ran around in circles, and messed around with the controls. This isn't something that can really come across from me playing it in a video and you watching, but the movement feels really good. It also looks really good, which I'm sure you can tell. But it also feels fantastic. The movement's just super smooth, but also pretty responsive. And I love the art style. Also, when I was messing around with controls, I pressed down the left stick. I'm playing with an Xbox One controller. And I think there's a slow-mo mode that you can just enter whenever you want. Check this out. Press the left stick. That 
could make for some really amazing moments. And I guess also, functionally, it could probably let you do some really hard maneuvers a bit easier. It also really shows just how smooth all the transition between the animations are. The animations are fantastic. That's a good doggy. Oh, and I can press Y to howl. There's a cave around here. Let's find it. I need to show you something. It's interesting. I was expecting us, the player, to be the spirit themselves and to go into the body of animals and then, I guess, sort of possess them. But it seems that's not the angle they're taking. It seems like we're playing the animal and we're basically just helping out the spirit. And the spirit's kind of guiding us on what they want us to do. Which is cool, because if you think about it, possession is kind of creepy. So I'm glad it's not that. Listen to those prancing doggy sounds. Do we have different walking sounds for different materials? Grass. That sounds the same. Oh, no wet walking sounds. Oh, well. At least not for puddles. Here. That's it. D do you see the amulet? Can you get it out? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me see. Was that their skeleton? The Anran script in ages. What does it say? Kalani? No, that, that wasn't my name. Maybe this isn't my body after all. I, I do remember that name. What? It, it's you. The amulet. That's Kalani. Wolf, are you? It's time you reach the light you long for. This lost ember needs your help. Let this aid you on your way. Wolf, what, was was that you? Were were you Kalani in in a former life? But that has to mean you were banned from the City of Light. You're the lost ember. Maybe I can help you reach the City of Light if you'd help me. A true Yanran spirit and a lost ember, side by side. No, so we're both spirits. Why to call your companion? I just remember bits and pieces. But I'm sure together we can figure out the way. Found a relic. One out of 77 amulets. Go to the relic menu to find out more. A traditional Yonrin name amulet. Children used to get their first amulets in an initiation ritual to welcome them as full members of the Yonrana, Yonrana Society. This particular amulet looks pretty worn out. The symbol of its owner is hardly recognizable. Wow, 
We can sit? I never tried messing around with the D-pad. So yeah, up to view the relics. Or other things as well. All collectibles. Legendary animals. Zero out of six found. Mushrooms. Left and right D-pad does nothing, and down? It makes us lay down. Have a little nap. Super, super, super power nap. God, the movement just feels so good. It looks so good. We have to get you across if we're going to get anywhere together. Let me see if I can find some way to help you. So cute. I couldn't find anything but these two. They'll do. Wolf, your mark. Look. What's happening? Wolf. <laughs> How did you do that? You're oh my, a soul wanderer. Oh my god. Well, okay, so, did. so now we kind of are possessing soul them. Soul wandering. Yanran legends spoke of those who had one foot in the light and one foot here on earth. Maybe you weren't meant to be turned back from the city of light. <sighs> we'll have to find out more about you. Come on then. I'll just try to forget the kind of possession-y aspect of it and just appreciate the fact that we're an incredibly cute little... I don't know what we are. Incredibly cute little creature. Okay, what can we do? This is just walking. Look at our cute little waddle. This is running. <laughs> jump. Ooh, tiny little jumps. Was that a roll I saw? Oh, if you hold it down, you can roll. If you hold down the jump button. Can you change the roll direction after the fact? Uh, yeah. A little bit. Kind of kicks you out of it if you turn too much, though. <laughs> this is me calling for the companion. It doesn't make any noise. Oh. I can switch between any of them. Can they... <clears throat> can they lay down? <laughs> babies! Absolute babies! Weird, I can't lay down anymore. Is there some sort of a timer on it? One of the collectibles. Is there a description or anything for that? It's just a description for each type of mushroom. Spotted crown. Fashionable, but poisonous. A special Yonren recipe turned it into a powerful brew. Enhanced with a little goat's milk, it would help you get through a laborious day. Some of their little grunting noises. Yeah, now we can rest down. Oh, do we have footprints? We do have footprints. I didn't notice that. Look at them little footies. Slow motion. We're already pretty slow. Now we're really slow. <laughs> Let's do a roll in slow motion. 
Yeah. Sorry, friend. Hey, that one's brown. <laughs> Silly little things. Try and hit left, down, or right from time to time. Some, uh, some animals have completely pointless little things they can do, like eating berries, lying down, or diving for food. Silly little things! Those sound amazing! I love that. I love that they explicitly say, like, yeah, it doesn't really matter functionally, but it's nice. Little nappy. Press... oh, it actually has a pop-up for it. Yeah, hoover them in. Did we just poop or something? That's a lot of food. Let's take a nap. Nice nap. I can't save on my own, which makes me hesitant to try whether I can just fall off or if it prevents me from doing that. It looks like you can just fall. Or I think it would have stopped me from going this far. So do need to be careful to avoid that. That mark on your side, what is it? Does it mean something? Well, I suppose we'll find out. closer to the barrier that's keeping me here. I haven't been able to leave this place for ages. Maybe you can find a way through. So we can return to wolf form at any time. So I guess this sort of is our original form. If we can always return to this one. This game is just magical so far. so lush and vibrant. Looks like a flare. I don't want to check it out just yet. Hunter's Firestone. 
On a long journey to find food, hunters would always carry a flint stone with them in order to be able to camp and make a fire to prepare food. Head up to that tree so we get a better overview. Broken hammer. That's what happens when strong men use weak tools, I guess. seeing the past. Wolf, are you doing this? Ye yes, do you see the amulets? They're clearly Yanrana. Our people. Children of the Emperor. Where do you think they were going? Oh no. Bandits. Wait. That that's Kalani. Wolf, that that's her. I mean I mean you again. So you were a bandit? I suppose that this has to have something to do with why you're not in the City of Light. If we can find out more about you, I'm sure I can help you out of here. What? How did that happen? Was that the memory? Wolf, do you think that means I can leave? Come on, let's try it. Oh, that's so cool. When you touch them, they kind of fall apart and disappear. Ha! You did it! I'm free? Wolf, I'm free! Oh. Now I can show you the way to the city. Come on. Wolf, that memory of yours. Why do you think I could see it as well? That's a new thing. So you can sniff out other creatures nearby. <laughs> Wee.
Am I missing anything in here? Does it just go to one of th three entrances? I don't think there's anything in there. I just got an achievement called the Munchies. <laughs> Darn right I got the Munchies. Looking ball. Have you seen anything like this before? I just got another achievement that disappeared before I could see what it is. That is obviously a Pokeball. I think we're supposed to go through those tunnels and pop out somewhere not here and then switch back to the wolf. I guess one of those locations was not back there. Uh, this one. Can I have the munchies? No. So beautiful. That's the bandits again. Where are they going? New animal! Ducks. Or birds? Are ducks birds? I actually don't know. What are they doing? They just dump it in the river. No behind the waterfall secret. All right, what can we do with you? Tap to flap. Oh, to like... We can fly! Doesn't look like we can... go super high. Trying to see what left trigger really does. It says to fly down. Doesn't seem to do much. Unless we just hover if we don't. No, we just go back to the ground anyway. Oh, there we go. If you're like going forwards like this. Um, I think it's only when you're not flapping. If you're not flapping and you're going forwards like this, then it'll make you head down. <laughs> Look at our waddle. Sprint. Look at our sprint. They nailed the animation. The head bob intensifies when you sprint. Oops. Didn't mean to do that, but I guess I'll switch to this other one. There was another one.
Hmm, down doesn't do anything here, but I think it does something in the water. If I fall off a ledge, will I automatically fly? Yes. There we go. Hold on, is this a secret? I think it is. Arrow. While the Yanran hunters preferred to hunt with their spears, they sometimes used bow and arrow for ducks, for example. Doggy paddle. Oh, no way. Those are the little chicks. I can be the little chicks? Can I jump out of the water? I don't think you can. I think you gotta find a ramp or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at our little baby paddle. Hey friends. You seem rather stationary. Oh, that's cool. The sound changes to being underwater when the camera goes underwater. I'm not sure about the animation for this little chick. It's really goofy, but I love it. Oh! oh. <laughs> we can drive fly. Can we do anything with you? Can I get on your back, maybe? back to the group, isn't it? Look at that little zoomer go. Baby. to transport the barrels they stole. But where to? Look at it go. See if we can find any mole holes around here.
think I saw a mushroom on that smaller hill. Not this big one, but that smaller one. But actually, I think I was mistaken. I think it was the red behind it that I thought was a mushroom. Would be, I am curious to fly to it, though, because I think I could. Getting a duck up here would be the hard part. Look, the barrier that held me back. It didn't disappear. It only grew larger. I can't pass until we break it, Wolf. How did we do it before? Where's the nearest duck? to transport the barrels they stole. But where to? Let's do it. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Nothing but satisfaction. There is something like right above our head. I might have to get there by going back up where we just came from to get more height. Oh, look at my little ducky footprints. You know what odd phrase that just came into my head after I said duck is Ducky Momo. Is that a character from Phineas and Ferb? Ah, oh, yeah. Ducky Momo was a character from Phineas and Ferb. Mm. Nah, that's not going to work. I'm going to go back up to the top. This should do. Otevos Firestone, a simple flint stone used to cut wood and bones, or, when struck against rocks or metal, can produce sparks to ignite a fire. Otevos, that's a new term. I just got an achievement windy up here. Over there's where we came from, yes. I'm going to fly. It might be slower, possibly, but it's fun. Also not a secret waterfall. The bandits camp. Did you live back here?
Seems like you were their leader. And who is that? Her name on her amulet. It's Wayla. See? We weren't all bad. You did care for her. I'm sure there's a way for you to redeem yourself. Did you hear that? I think that did it, Wolf. Come on, let's check the barrier. Oh, there is sort of fall damage. If you haul somewhere that, like, would kill you, it just puts you back. <laughs> you did it again. I can become them. Oh, they're hummingbirds. Oh my god, I love hummingbirds. <laughs> yep, they nailed that head twitch that hummingbirds do. It's taking a get a bit, uh, a get a bit getting used to. <laughs> it's taking a bit of getting used to. This flies very differently from the duck. Whoa. Look, the barrier that held me back. It didn't disappear. It only grew larger. I can't pass until we break it, Wolf. How did we do it before? 
We already figured it out, buddy. Is there anywhere I can go that I couldn't before? Back here. I guess the top of this biggest mountain, although I don't think there's anything on there. So fast. Yeah, we can only go so high. How about this seems to be the max height. I think we can land on the tip. No, we can't. I think I know why I'm still here. I'm your spirit guide, to guide you to the City of Light. They must have sensed that you had good in you too. I'm sure of it. That's why I'm not in the City of Light myself yet. Cute toy. Loot. No, really, I have no idea what kind of animal this is supposed to portray. Or to portrait. Is that another reference to something? Still trying to get used to the flying, it's very weird. I get nectar myself. Doesn't seem like it. Is so beautiful, such interesting structures. Oh, they're all following me, I just realized. a new type of mushroom. Sandy needling. The sandy needling was fairly common and often used in stews and soups, but had to be washed very thoroughly as it usually carried quite a bit of sand between its stems. Yeah, I guess I'll explore the whole upper world. And then go to the ground floor and switch back to the wolf. Dandelions. Oh, did I? Oh my god! Yes! That is beautiful. I 
I think we got everything up on these towers. is not poisonous, but also far from delicious. Its shape lent itself to collecting rainwater, though, so the coupling was still appreciated widely. Druffle kind of looks like a walnut. We have any little buddies we can use to help us get through there? Skinning knife. A knife that was primarily used in crafting leather and fur clothing. Those dandelions really just are a magical touch. Hmm. Ah, there's a mushroom up there. I could use a duck. steep.
I think it's too steep for us, too. something we missed back here. If I can get up here... Ah, yes. I love all the dandelions that go through the rock structures, kind of encouraging you to also go through them. Is that one glowing? You found the legendary wombat. Oh my god. Anything about it? No, it's just it's just legendary. So that's what the legendary creatures are. That's an invisible wall. Probably for the best. Starting to see structures. Brick wall, a path. I'm so glad I found you. This would be unbearable without you by my side. I feel the same. Look at our village. Lifeless and sick. We can't just watch any longer. We need to do something. A 
village. Come on, I'm sure we can learn a lot down here. These clouds look so fluffy. Also, potential lesbian relationship, maybe, please? My gay ass desperately wants it. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to go explore the village. <laughs>